experiment to study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction using sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid. In this experiment, we used the same chemical reaction studied in the previous experiment. However, we will use just one concentration of sodium thiosulfate solution, but at different temperatures. We will use quite a dilute solution of sodium thiosulfate in this experiment so that the measured times will not be too short at the higher temperatures. Pour 100 centimeters cubed of a 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate solution into a conical flask. Place the conical flask on a sheet of white paper on which a mark has been made. Pour 10 cm cubed of the hydrochloric acid solution into the conical flask. Swirl the flask and start the stop clock. Look at the cross through the solution and when the degree of milkiness reaches such a stage that the cross is no longer visible, stop the stop clock. Note the time taken in seconds and measure the temperature of the solution as some cooling may have taken place when the two solutions are mixed. Fill in the result in the table shown on the screen. For your convenience, this table is reproduced for you in the Folan Student Laboratory Notebook. Wash out the conical flask. Pour 100 centimeters cubed of the 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate solution into the flask. And warm the flask using a hot plate or a Bunsen burner to a temperature of about 30 degrees Celsius. Warm a beaker containing 10 cm cubed of hydrochloric acid to the same temperature.
place the conical flask on top of the cross. Add in the 10 centimeters cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid to the conical flask and measure the time it takes to obscure the cross. As in the previous experiment, measure the temperature of the mixture and enter the data at A and B marked on the table. Repeat the experiment for temperatures of around 40 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. Enter your own data into the table. You should find that the hotter solution takes less time to obscure the cross. That is, increased temperature causes an increased reaction rate. The result of this experiment can also be represented on graphs, and these graphs are shown in your textbook. This concludes the experiment.